Hello, and welcome to another tutorial in Unity. This time I'm going to be going over production lighting techniques. I'm going to explain what the different types of lights are, how to balance light and dark areas in your scene, how to give yourself good color for whatever tone you're going for, and how to combine lighting with post-processing effects in order to make your game look truly professional and show you how to go from a scene like this to this using only lighting and post-processing techniques. So let's get started. Okay, here we are in Unity. This is the scene that we are going to be lighting. As you see, it's quite complex. There's a lot going on, but it's pretty flat. You see my camera here. We're focused on this assembly crane system with this ship. And as you might notice with all of the game object tags I have here, that this hangar is split up into eight sections. As you can see there are four of them. And while I do need to light this entire environment for the game, we're only going to be focusing on this one section, as lighting the others would just be a repeat of all the techniques I go through to get this one section finished. I bring over my game window. You can see this is what it looks like right now. And before we really get started talking about how to light this, let me just go over the lighting that I already have. So right now, I only have three lights. And, or, yeah, three lights. And I have this main directional light. And, this is the one that actually comes in with the scene by default whenever you create a new Unity scene. And that lights up this side of the hangar. But everything else is cast is in shadow. Then the second light I have is this directional light right here. Now it shines almost parallel to the floor of the hangar. And its purpose is to give off these subtle highlights that you see. As I orbit my camera around, you can see the light shimmering off of the surface there. And that's partially just to help me see, but also because we're going to be viewing this scene from a mainly flat angle. If I bring back my game view, you can see we get some of the nice highlights down here in the lower half. If I were to disable that, you see how much flatter everything becomes. And again, that flatness is just because we only have a very small number of lights and most of what we see is being lit up by ambient light rather than by placed lights. And speaking of ambient light, that's the third light that I have in this system. If I go to the lighting tab over here to scene, you'll see I have a skybox with ambient light so I can make everything generally brighter or darker. And then I also have these right here. These aren't actually lights. These are just meshes. If I select that mesh in particular, you'll see it's an elongated cone that just has a gradient texture map applied to it and an additive material. Now I built a special shader for this out of ShaderForge, but you can get a very similar effect just by going with a particles additive or specifically additive soft. And the softness factor here, if you notice, we can't see precisely where this mesh intersects with the light stand. That's the soft factor. So if I switch this to particles additive soft, then you'll notice a few things change, and that's because my few of the other assets use this particular shader, not just the light cone. But you'll see up here, it's actually very clear on these ceiling frames that the intersections are faded away. So if you want to make an effect like that, sort of a volumetric lighting effect, without actually needing to calculate volumetric lighting, that's a very cheap way to do it. It's just a cone with a gradient texture map and the particles additive soft if you don't have shader forge 
All right, now let's get started with lighting this. So when you're lighting a scene, typically you want to start out dark and then add lights to increase the brightness. And so the first big problem I have here is the skybox. And this is supposed to be a hangar in deep space. And so this is no good. Now thankfully I already have another skybox and in my assets. And if I just go down here to see space. And, and you can download one of these off of the asset store. There are a few free space based skyboxes. So I'll drag that out onto the background, and you'll see that that gets applied. Alternatively, you could also go to lighting and completely disable the ambient intensity and the reflection intensity, and set the camera's background and clear flags to solid color, and set the background to be black. That would achieve a similar effect. So now our scene is very dark, except for this area out here. So now we are ready to start really building our lighting. So if I look at the game view here, now because of how dark it is, I'm not sure how well you can see everything, but the first thing to focus on would be our hero assets, the assets that the player is supposed to be focusing on. And that would be our assembly crane and the ship. So the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add in some lights to handle that. So there's a few different types of lights we can add. If I go down to game object, light, a directional light, point light, spotlight, and an area light. Now for this one, I'm going to use a spotlight. Now a spotlight just as its name would imply, illuminates a cone volume and nothing else. It doesn't illuminate anything outside of that cone. So this is good for highly directional light, or more accurately, light that's only supposed to illuminate a very specific area in your scene. If we put in a directional light, so if I change this from type to directional, and it would light up everything in your scene. Now this is good for testing, just so you can see everything, but the lighting is still very flat because everything has the same brightness. So I'll change this back to a spotlight. And I want it to illuminate both the crane and the ship. So I'll move it above and then you see this circle down here? That's the range. It will not illuminate anything below this circle. So to make sure it gets to not only the ship, but also the floor, I need to increase that range. And you'll see as I increase it, the brightness goes up a bit. But to really affect the brightness, we want the intensity. So you see as I move that up, things get a little brighter. And then to illuminate a wider area, I'll increase the spot angle. And then ultimately I'll probably tilt it a little bit so it's not pointed straight down. Probably increase the range a little bit more. There we go. So now as you see in our game view, we have a nice spotlight and we have some good backlighting on the crane itself. Now to really increase the dramatic effect of this spotlight, let me make it spotting a little bit wider. There we go. I am also going to enable shadows. Now shadows are very expensive. So you want to keep the number of lights you have that cast shadows to a minimum. Right now, once I enable shadows, there are only two lights in this scene right now that cast shadows. This spotlight and the main directional light that's illuminating this area. For the remainder of this series, for illuminating 
this section, section 7, these are the only two lights that will cast shadows because shadows will dramatically increase your number of draw calls, but regular light illumination will not, especially if you are using deferred rendering. So here I have my main light. And then I also want to change its color a little bit. No light in reality is perfectly white. It's always going to be a little bit of a tint. Now, how you choose the color of your lights is going to depend on both your art style, the feel you're going for, the tone, and how realistic you want your scene to look. Lighting-wise, I want to value tone and feel more so than realism, so I'm going to make these colors a little more saturated than they probably would be. For this one, because it is a very industrial setting, I will tint the light slightly yellow. There we go, so if we take a look at that, there's white, there's a little yellow. Yellow also contrasts nicely with the mild violet hue coming from this directional light. 